Magic is ready to be reborn. The pendulum is swinging back to when humans reclaim their connection with the spirit realm. I pray for enlightenment, for all people to realize this connection, to awaken to their own divinity and the divinity inherent in all things. I pray for healing, pure, unconditional love to fall upon all people, especially those so full of hate, causing the most destruction in the world. I pray that Russia and Ukraine be blessed by immense love, love that fills them with the awareness of their own sacredness, so much so that it stops the war. I pray for love to encompass the extremists on all political spectrums because love is a power so humbling, so gentle, yet so powerful it brings us all to our knees and employs us to follow in its steps. I pray for the power of telepathy, the power of the mycorrhizal network of message and resource transmission to be reawakened in the world, starting where the greatest need has arisen among the women of Iran. I pray for the trees, plants, and Mother Earth to begin speaking to us in ways even the densest among us can hear and understand. I pray that the reality that we are surrounded by sentient, loving beings and not just commodities available for our extraction and subjugation inspires in us a drive to collaborate and cooperate with the world around us to meet the needs of all rather than continuing with our rampant, unabated, ever-increasing, hungry ghost consumption. When I make my coffee, I pray for joy and abundance to befall the farmers who tended the bushes the coffee beans came from, the animals and birds that danced on their hillsides, the children who played among their trunks, and the soil they grew from. I pray the water brings love and healing not only to my body and my husband's, but to all water, soil, creatures, crops, humans, and birds who encounter those same water molecules in the future. I pray that hearts, eyes, and minds are opened, mine and the rest of the world's, and that we can one day soon learn to live in harmony with all entities on our planet, our plane, and across dimensions and galaxies. I pray to be of service, to be released from fear and insecurity, judgment of others and myself, impatience and resentment. I pray for protection, guidance, and faith. And every day, throughout the day, I express gratitude for my blessings and the lessons that help grow my soul. What do you pray for? I would love to add your prayers to my own, for we are more powerful when we pray together.